Silent Conjurer. Probably have to start with you anyway. You're the envoy, begging your pardons. I might, but might I ex inspect your missing repair? Verily, this is the seal of Supreme Commander of the Immortal Flames. Come with me. So you are the Uldan Envoy. On behalf of our fair nation, I bid you welcome. Please. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Khan A. Senna, Elder Seed Seer of Gridania, and leader of the Order of the Twin Adder, our nation's grand company. I understand you bear a message from the Flame General. In remembrance service for the fallen of Parthenia. Murray, tell me, adventurer, do you what do you know of our conflict with the Empire? It would seem my counterparts recounted the tale in some detail, that is well. Hmm, message from the Ivo. A wolf has been sitting around your, your stables, you say? I see. Well, I shall be pleased to provide her with such counsel as I am able. But first, friend of a friend, I will tell you more of the Garlean threat. For the greater part of its history, Garlemant Mald was not even among the most influential nations of Ilsevar, the northern continent. However, its innovations in the field of Magitech, some fifty years past, helped to raise it from the depths of its spirit. Emboldened by this technology, it set about subjugating its neighbors, swiftly absorbing each into its ever-expanding territory. And when all of Ilsevar lay within its grasp, it turned into its rendezvous gaze upon Eorza. Yet Garlemald's transformation did not come about by virtue of magic tech alone. Its success owed much up to the consummate leadership of its first and reigning emperor, Solas Zos Galvis, the man who put an empire in his own lifetime, built an empire in his own lifetime. Yet he lived, has lived long, and after more than four score winters, in 80 years, it is said that he grows frail and ever more prone to illness. If rumors are to be believed, the matter of succession has destabilized the imperial court. This would explain the empire's relative inactivity in recent years, which has granted us much needed time to rebuild. We cannot allow ourselves to become complacent, for Garlemald still maintains a presence in the Eorzea, in the form of the 14th Imperial Legion. Commanding this great host is Legatus Gaius von Belsar, Belsar, a man whose ambitions are well known to us. So long as he breathes the Eorzean air, none of us may sleep easy. The calamity wreaked such devastation upon the realm, that it has seen all we could do to nurse our wounds, never mind build our defenses. Simply put, we have not the strength to recall the Empire. Yet, to add to our woes, the beast tribes continue to summon their primals, whose very existence is a being from the land. Each nation is beset with its own primal problem, none has the resources to look beyond its own borders. The Admiral desires my counsel regarding a brave wolf. He means to tell me the Empire may soon resume advance. Though the Primals pose an undeniable threat to our survival. Uh oh. Now we use connection? So that we have connection. Dum dum dum. It's weird that it was connected. This is a perfect connection.
so y on please allow i i under Are complacent for Garimov's presence in the ARZ 14th Imperial Legion. Commanding Spring Hunts to the the Gaius, Von Belsier, and the Man who should be given to the Roman to us so long as he brings the ARZ in the area and his best safety. The calamity wreaks such a nation upon this realm, it has been all the way to our wounds, never mind with any defenses. Simply for we do not expect to recall the Emperor. And Add to our words that these tribes contain some of the primals whose very existence has been upon them. Each nation has discovered some primal problem known as resources for the beyond its own goal. I have no desires my counsel regarding a brazen wolf. She means to tell me the empire may soon resume its advance. Though the primals pose an undeniable threat to our survival, the threat both for the Garnelians is greater still. Clearly, each nation can no longer afford to think only of that which occurs in its own world. The storm gathers upon the horizon. If we are to weather it, we must need stand united. A remembered service once more. Remembered service may help rekindle the spirit of union with brought upon the peoples of mirrors here together. Last and the last year fire threat our liberty, friends and others wise make a cold and whole life, but wholeheartedly approve it in this third division of the service here in Great Dean. Okay, she signed. Two down. Zero to go. So you save your home. I'm not going home. This is my new home. You can now use airship routes connecting to stations. Airships now accessible. You can a whistle. You can call your very own minion. All on minion rules for a whistle. Character in the main menu. Send your menu and you select some neat icon. So, how do you get to a whistle? Conjurer, that's what we want. Alright, Call of the Sea is the next one. Should we start the Conjurer? Let's, let's go to the. See what we get Conjurer next. I want to ask for soul. Existed since the dawn of time. 
it is not until five centuries that ago that some that conjury emerged from the shapeless conglomeration of spells and charms, an event which led to the founding of Virginia. In those dark days, the elementals would not suffer man's presence in the twelve's world, and forcing our forebears to make their homes in the earth. Great subterranean city of Gilmore. But their desire to settle in the Twelve's wood continued to burn fiercely. Time and again, they sought to curry the elemental sphere. Unlike men and other creatures beyond the temples of flesh, the elementals are beings of pure ether. Recognizing this, the mages of Eld reasoned that their talent for etheric manipulation might allow them to commune with these theretofore enigmatic. Titles. It took five long decades, but our forebears finally succeeded. The reward, the elemental's permission to dwell in the Twelve's wood. So it was that the nation of the Nation was born. Since that time, the elementals have taught us to live as one in the nature, speaking to all Gardenians through the hearers, those mages who are able to commune with them. And for their intimacy with the elementals, the hearers would go on to retain greater mastery over the forces of nature. Thus did they conceive the art of conjuring. And that, my most attentive listener, is a brief history of conjuring. If you have a mind to walk our path, I wholeheartedly recommend you join our guild. It would be my pleasure to attain the initiation process, explain the initiation process to you, so praise be with me in order.